Hi, Elaine Hall, Coach E, and today we're going to talk about seven easy ways to support your relationship and your partner when you have a child with autism. Okay, we've all heard the statistics. 80% of marriages that have a child with autism end in divorce. You don't have to be that statistic, okay? And here's some easy ways to, to help out. First of all, have a once a week date. Now it doesn't have to be at night, you can do it in the middle of the day where it's just you and your spouse or your partner. And it's during that time, you cannot mention the child, you cannot mention therapies or anything, just a time for the two of you to get back in touch with what it is that you fell in love with in the first place. Really, really important. The other one, so essential, take care of your own needs first. If you are constantly giving to your child, you need to take care of yourself. Don't let yourself fall apart. Very, very important. If there's not a you in the relationship, there can be no relationship. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Be curious of what your partner is experiencing. Don't judge them. Let them explain what's going on for them. Everyone deals with a child um, with special needs differently. So be understanding and just listen without reacting and see what your spouse needs. Divide up tasks. Maybe one parent is the parent that takes care of all of the therapies and IEP and, and all of those kinds of things and the other parent might be the parent that just plays with the child. Everyone doesn't have to do everything and be appreciative of everything that each one does do for that partnership. There's always going to be times where you don't see eye to eye. Sometimes you may have to bring in a third person, a supervisor, or a therapist for the couple so that you guys can work things out and get back on the same page. If you're on the same page, it's going to help your child so, so much. And now the most important thing that you can do to help your relationship with your spouse or partner is be grateful. Be grateful for everything that that person does. Find things that they do. Invent things that they do that you can thank them for. Thank you for making the bed. Thank you for being here. The more gratitude that you can give your partner, the more love and enriching environment you will have together and ultimately will have for your child. Thank you.